I have a tiny little haul, like literally a tiny haul for you. I'm going to open this up. This is for tea time. Emma. She's on my lap. She just does not want to stay on there. This is like a little tea cake. There is imperfections in this. It's shipped at right at that end. I believe that's supposed to be a donut, but that's like, that bow is inappropriate for a donut. That does not look edible. Oh, some sweets. A pink cookie. That looks unrealistic, so I'm only, and that's broken. And the, the top to it is not, I'm not impressed with this lot because of the chips that's nice and i'm still gonna use some of this a chocolate one okay this is just sad because it's flat you can't really use this on a cart because it's flat it's not real like this is 3d at least but it's broken Little love cake. Cake. And this, which feels like a really hard eraser. Doesn't really look like a sweet, though. So, a couple of these things I will use. This. This cookie. Maybe this. But the rest is just not good enough for my little video that I'm working on. Now these were supposed to be used for um, slime videos, adding too much to stuff to slime. I was supposed to get a lot of these. They're little. I got very little. These now, some of these I think I can use for the, the video, the tea time video that I'm working on. These, no, because they're too small for what they are. But I will pick out some of the ones I can use. And these, they're, I don't know what, half an apple, a quarter of an apple, they don't look very usable, they just look flat, but some of these look realistic, like actual fruit, and those are the ones I would be using. Like, I could cut a corner of this and put it on a glass, that's an orange, this is one lemon slice, some lime, kiwi, the kiwi looks realistic, this does not, I don't even know what that's supposed to be, that does not look like a watermelon, but this does. So. The slices of things that look real, I will use in the tea time video. Now there's one more thing. <coughs> Those were about 75 cents each. So not bad or a dollar. The, um, I think the, these, which were sad, a dollar something. And they look so much better online, of course. Now this... Dirt. A lot of dirt, which I'm not happy about. I do not have any cleansing Clorox wipes. I need to refill them, but I bought two for four something like four fifteen. It's not showing up on camera, but it is very pink. There is pink in this dress. This doll is as pink. I bought these because they're they're higher quality than the bodies I have been getting. It is a little slimmer than it looks online. They're very articulated. They twist, sit, this, that, very bendable. And they seem, you know, they are higher quality, but they're so... Pink, I mean, it's almost pink enough to put 
with that Dracula doll from Monster High. Almost. Just a shade more pink in this doll. Look, and I know it looks white on camera, but it is pink. Um, there's a slight pink tone to um, Generica, so I may be able to use one of the bodies for Generica. Because that's what one body was meant to be. But the other body was supposed to be for a custom Cinderella doll. Because I have one of the Cinderella dolls from the live action. But her hands are almost completely chewed off. And I was going to use one of these bodies because she was very pale. And it is pale. But the pinkness in the tone will not work. It actually just looks like she has a bad sunburn like she's a very very pale girl who has a bad sunburn these look like they match they don't this is let a lot less pink this is more white and it just will not show up this this body would be too slim this is more of a skipper size body did not know that when I bought it, but I did buy it because one of the Generica bodies is cracking at the side. And that's why I wanted something a little more solid for that doll. So there are things that I like. There's things that are a disappointment. What do you think of this lot? The, the doll bodies were for 15 together. Which is very good for an articulated doll, but you do have to worry about getting a doll that skin tone. It will work for Generica just because she's a little bit pink. I have these for tea time. It's a video I've been working on for a long time. There are things that I can use on the little tea cart and things that I can't. I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be. So, um, I'm going to get Generica. And we're going to see how she looks on this very pink body. This is Generica in her old body, which is pinkish, just not as much. She looks very white on camera, too. Oh, it's hard to get her head off. But her, her body is cracking over here. This is cracked. I may use her, that body, as a temporary body for the Cinderella doll. Well, the, uh, I hate to say it. It looks a little strange because the body is so much smaller than the other it is not a hundred percent the right skin tone it's not that bad but the body is very slim um looks okay on camera it's nice that it's got the head plug instead of this right here because you couldn't move around her head so much but it just makes her look like she has a tiny body and a big head. So I may just have to layer up the clothing on this doll. The quality is good, but it's a little too slim and very, very pink. I think it's, it's that much pinker than this tone. Slightly the wrong tone still. But there you go. And, and one of them came dirty, which probably more disappointed uh, that than the tone. This one is perfectly clean, one is dirty, so it's interesting.
this is very hollow this is more solid so I do think it's worth it for an upgrade to make it less likely that Generica will break what do you think of this new Generica or should I go back to the breakable body that is just a little bigger